Oh, hello guys, it's your boy Karn, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make the perfect Amelie cup of cha. So let's get it started. There's two types of people in this world either you mar the peg or you do fiend. Wait, it's either you mar the peg or you drink cha, which is me. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple cup of cha. So, how I like to start my cha off is get my water boiling, butter hot, and then add my, my lachis and my tea patia and then my sugar, and then to finish it all off, add my milk. Cha wasn't invented by our great Punjabi ancestors first. That's medicine. You know, they used to just inject jaw into the bloodstream. And you can Wikipedia this, I'm not lying. And then the guy used to get gam, you know, he used to start fighting. And then, and then years later, years later, and we're drinking it as a casual drink. So just gonna show you how far medicine came, you know? And jaw into into the skin and jaw into the mouth. Learning with Garn. Yeah. Yes, it's on. Go. So look, it's boiling. So this is when I'm gonna add my cloves. I'm gonna break it. Break. It. Here come the latches. Telling me, man, this is the stuff. This is the stuff that gets you going. Gets you going in the morning. This is the stuff. This green shit right here. Not really shit. I shouldn't call it shit. But it gets you going. For like one cup, I had three, you know, three of them. I live life on the edge, I can say. I also like to live dangerously. Next, we add uh, my favorite, black lady. Break it, there we go. Look at these little ante come out. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, we got this brew. I've been reading the Thoris lately, so I'm extending my vocabulary. So let's just brew. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna learn a lot of stuff from me. Language, culture, style, fashion. Look at my Christmas sweater. Look at this drip. Got a Tim's on, fam. It's gonna snow soon, so you gotta be safe. Uh, what do you got there? White stuff. Sugar. I'm telling you, man, without sugar, there's no such thing as jaw. Okay? So. Add your sugar, please. Should be a good amount. Measure check. You already know, we got a deadly box. Takes me back to my childhood. Back in 1837, mommy brown dizzy cha, you know? So for my one cup of cha, let's not get emotional here. I had two patina. Don't judge me. So I let this brew for about two minutes. I'm telling you, man, you, get, you guys, you can't get more accurate than me, fam. My sound is accurate. We got our jaw nice and brewed up. We gotta add our milk. Like I've mentioned before in my previous videos, long, long time ago, I do not make this. I wish I would, could, but I don't. Comes from a mudge. I love mudges. You make milk, man. Splash for the ancestors in, in the Punjab that use this as medicine. Enough joking. Let's get down to business. Get your notepads ready because a lot of numbers and equations that we're crunching up right now. Are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up. You just want to let your milk reg, meaning means cook, for about five minutes. Our jaw appears to be ready. Look at that golden brown color, just like mummy used to make. I love you, mummy. I forgot to mention this important tool called the jaw separating apparatus. That is key for this jaw. Watch this work, ladies and gentlemen. In front of your eyes, made by the Germans. There 
It is a one perfect cup. Good job. It's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, from across the world, our jaw is ready. I'm gonna take a sip. I'm gonna take a sip. It's hot. It's hot. But it's good. It's good and hot at the same damn time. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with Garn. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see next. And make yourself some bomb jaw. Have it with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your mommy, your daddy, your cha-cha, your foot for your uncles, your auntie. And I'll see you later. Bye bye, Capimutiro. Perdi. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do.